Hey everybody, welcome to, I don't know, what is this, our second or third week of school? It's one of those times when it always feels, already feels like everything's just kind of running into each other. But here's something I know. For as much and as long as we look forward to an event called Ollie's Follies, can you believe that it's already in the rearview mirror for this year? Uh, and maybe some of you, uh, senior class excluded, maybe some of you are already looking to plan for Ollie's Follies next year. Uh, of course, you don't have the theme yet. Maybe Smitty does. He might already know, but you don't. But Ollie's Follies was amazing from athletic games to wacky games to last night, the variety show. It was just a blast. It's, it's great to be a part of that with you. And the, the way we express community around here, I think it's, it's, it's tough to match any place else. So uh, to all four of the classes uh, and the way you competed and participated um, it was it was really really fun and I just love um, the way we uh, we we create and shape community around here and I hope that you're getting a sense uh, for that as well that that all of these things uh, help support who we believe we should be as people of faith and so like like this week you might have already seen it by now clubs and organizations are out they're recruiting people to to join them and i encourage you you've heard smitty say this you've heard others say this get involved uh participate if there's a club that matches your major or something that you're passionate about an organization you want to become a part of uh check it out this week and and uh, see uh, if there's something that they're doing trying to provide a way to serve you, but also give you an opportunity to serve because most of our clubs and organizations are service-minded and service-oriented. So I encourage you to check them out. And, and this week, tomorrow in chapel is a Festival of Ministries. It's the first time that you've, you're gonna hear this said a lot this fall. It's the first time in two years that we've been able to talk about the ministries that our students, you, lead on campus and in our community. And I think this is one way that we seek to answer the question, how can we be the best neighbors? So we seek to answer that for us on campus, like a uh, heart ministry that uses creativity and art um, as an expression, right, of our talents and our abilities. And, and sometimes it's just therapeutic. So I encourage you, check out Heart Ministries, uh, check out Prayer Warriors, this, this group of students that that all, they pray, that's all they do. That's the, the only reason that group comes together is, is to pray. Heart for Missions um, is, is one of our ministries that tries to raise awareness of the importance of min missions here and around the world. And then of course, Upper Room, our student-led uh, worship service that our chaplains lead every Monday night, which will begin September 27th, uh, the, the first Monday after revival. So we hope those are things on campus that you check out, that you look to become involved with. But we also want you to get involved in ministries that reach outside of our campus. So life support comes across, uh, it, 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 it comes alongside our Pregnancy Resource Center to try and help them minister to women and families in our community. SOS, Save Our Streets, not only tries to raise awareness, like you can participate in a homeless week, to raise money for the homeless that are right here in the community, trying to raise awareness of the need that's here, but also develop relationships with some of the homeless folk that live in our community, a way that we are seeking to answer the question, how do we become the best neighbors? Habitat for Humanity, um, a way for us through manual labor to minister to our community. Sometimes we're building a house, but they've already been to Pembroke uh, for a wood cutting and wood stacking event this semester. Uh, that's something that I, that I hope uh, that you check out. Mission Possible is, you know, there, there's some creative elements to that that we need some of you to come alongside and help us develop with our student ministry leaders because how do you minister to those that are in the detention center here in Kankakee during COVID? What are the things that we can do to come alongside them? So uh, we hope that you do that. And then Best Buddies is an organization uh, of our students. They, they organize to, to minister to and, and partner with the Best Buddies 
uh, international organization, but to work with adults that deal with disability um, and how we can minister to them. Uh, there's a lot of different ways, clubs, organizations, student-led ministries on campus, off campus, in our community, and you're going to hear about ministry trips opportunities later around the world, ways that we try to partner with ministries, partner with churches, partner with organizations, se seeking out the ways that God is at work in those ministries, in the lives of the people that are there, and the ways that we can partner with God um, to be an expression of His kingdom in, in our campus, on our campus, and certainly in our community and around the world. So I encourage you this week, a lot of opportunities for you to check out clubs, organizations, and student ministries, ways that you can become involved. There are a, multiple, uh, there are a multitude of ways that you can look to become involved and to serve as we seek together to continue to answer the question, how can we become the best neighbors? We hope you check it out this week, and we'll see you tomorrow in chapel when, when we talk about our student ministries. Thanks, you guys. Grace and peace.